Hmm. Did you ever wonder what these things are made of? What they can do? What they're designed for? In this module, we will look at the anatomy and the parameters of Invisalign clear aligners. We'll review the material they're made of, the different features they offer, the use of each of these features, and the parameters of Invisalign aligners. The objectives of this module is that at the end, you will know what you see when you look at an Invisalign clear aligner, and you will have the knowledge of the movement each aligner can provide. Plastic. It has been used in food containers, water bottles, computers, telephones, toothbrushes, eyeglasses, toys, and some other very important aspects of our lives. Now name it, it's everywhere. The term plastic is derived from the Greek plastikos, meaning form or capability to be formed. Aligners are plastic-based materials. The new generation of Invisalign aligners called SmartTrack is a thermoplastic polyurethane with an integrated elastomer. It's a medical grade plastic. According to Align, they are shown to be biocompatible for human use in the oral cavity. They contain no BPA or BPS. The FDA has classified Invisalign as a class two medical device. No, no, not, not this kind of class two. No. You might wonder what is a class two FDA approved medical device? Now the FDA categorizes medical devices into one of three classes, class one, class two, or class three. Remind you of something? Class one devices generally pose the lowest risk to the patient and class three devices pose the highest risk. Class one devices are low risk devices. Examples include bandages, handheld surgical instruments and a non-electric wheelchair. But be careful, low risk doesn't mean no risk. Class two medical devices are those devices that have a moderate to high risk to the patient and or user. 43% of medical devices fall under this category. Most medical devices are considered class two devices like, like Invisalign. Uh, other example of class two devices include powered wheelchair and some pregnancy test kits. Class three uh, devices usually sustain or support life. They are implanted or present potential unreasonable risk of illness or injury. Examples of class three devices include implantable pacemakers and breast implants. 10% of medical devices fall under this category. With its class two status, Invisalign is recognized as having the potential to be misused. For this reason, it should only be administered by dentists with the training to do so properly. Similar to all medical devices, it is most effective in the hands of experienced and trained professionals. Knowing all that, let's now look at the anatomy of the Invisalign clear liner. All Invisalign aligners have this little logo on them, this little flower that looks like a nettle vice. They are transparent. They're not invisible. Now, this is something you should make clear for your patient, always making sure they do not have unreasonable expectations. Each aligner has a serial number printed on them. Under it, you will find a U for upper or an L for lower. Next to that, you'll see the number of the aligner in that sequence. That is something you should show to all your patients to avoid any confusion. Now, it, it may seem obvious to us, but it's not always obvious for our patients. When you order Invisalign aligners and you fill your prescriptions, you have the option to add compliance indicators. Their use is to monitor if the patients are wearing their aligners or not. You can see that the compliance indicator is blue and it will gradually fade away as the aligners are worn. Now, if the patient fails to wear them as it should, it will stay blue. Now, in these cases, you can say to your patient, gotcha. Is this the kind of relation you want really with your patients? Now, looking at scientific literature, this article published in the Engel Orthodontist in 2011 by Schutt and Goetz, shows that a compliance indicator are not immune to simple intentional or unintentional manipulations. Therefore, uh, they can best show an estimate of wear time, but cannot be recommended as objectives 
wear time indicators. In other words, somebody who wants to make them fade away will find a way to do it. Now, do I use them? Nah. I, I prefer good communication with my patients, much more effective. And for me, it's the basis of, of success with clear aligners or with any type of treatment where you need patients cooperation. Other features you will find are these cutbacks and hooks for elastics. Now, if you want to know more about the use of elastics and clear aligners, don't miss this video available on this channel. Now, to make sure you never miss a video on our channel, just subscribe by clicking here just below on, uh, and click on the bell to be notified every time we put a new video on this channel. Power ridges are these little bumps or indentation um, already incorporated in the anterior portion of some aligners. You will find them next to the gum line on the upper and lower anterior teeth. When the software detects a certain amount of torque movement, it will automatically add a power ridge to help in proclining or retroclining the teeth. The idea is that this bump is applying a pressure and it delivers a force on a tooth at a very specified position. Combined to a force coming from the other side, the result should be something like this. Now that's the theory. Does it work? Well, <laughs> what we see a lot of the times is that it's annoying for the patients because this bump makes the aligner stick out at the gum line and it can be irritating for the tissues and we often see that the teeth are not really tracking and this is fully understandable and explained in our complete mechanic principles of clear aligner module bite ramps are another feature you will find in upper anterior teeth it can be present on the four anteriors or on the cuspids the goal is to help disocclude posterior teeth. Now, think of a, a deep bite case where, for example, you would want to extrude posterior teeth. Um, they can also be present in cases where you want to intrude lower anterior teeth. They, they can be up to three millimeter long and they will change position on the different aligners. Now, do you think patients like them? especially adults. And since they are three millimeter long, do not use them if you have an overjet of more than three millimeters. Patient will bite behind them and it can be even worse. There are some cases where it can be useful to have bite rams, but again, understanding mechanics will help you determine when and why to use them. Pressure points are directly introduced in the aligners mostly to help in some rotation movements. They will act as an opposing force to help create a couple. A couple is present when two equal and opposite forces are separated by a perpendicular distance. This creates a pure rotation where the center of resistance is exactly at the same place as the center of rotation. Again, we're in mechanics and physics. These are basic things that you need to understand if you want to have success with orthodontic treatment using clear liners. If you want to learn more and know more about the courses we offer, join our list by clicking on the link in the description below. One of the major reasons why we can treat all cases with clear aligners today is because of the presence of attachments. With Invisalign aligners, you will see two families of attachments, the rectangular or conventional attachments and the optimized attachments. Thinking that you can do the same movements with or without attachments is absolute nonsense. Someone who would say that would show a total lack of understanding of how aligners work. Ladies and gentlemen, come and see our revolutionizing clear aligner. No need for attachments. Feet move by themselves because of our unique process with our magic plastic. But it does not only make our teeth move, it also cleans them and reinforces them at the same time. It releases all the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals you need. It also translates everything you say in any language you want. Attachments give you control on your cases. It's like pushing a car down a slope. Now, without attachments, it's like no one is behind the steering. And with attachments, you have someone controlling the direction. These aligners with 
all their features are designed to deliver force. The force that will be applied to the teeth will create a physiologic reaction that will result in tooth movement. Now these aligners have parameters, meaning that each one of them is a design to deliver a certain quantity of force and achieve a certain quantity of movement. To have an idea of how long a treatment can last, it is useful to know these parameters. For Invisalign clear aligners, the movement prescribed in each aligner is 0.25 millimeter and or 2 degrees. The reality, well, at least my reality and the one of most dentists I know who uses Invisalign, and I know a lot, is that we see about 0.15 millimeter and 1 degree of movement with each aligner. Why? Again, it all goes back to physics. Now, for me, there is only one real guru in orthodontics, and it's Isaac Newton. His third law says, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, meaning that as the aligner is applying a pressure on the tooth, the tooth is also applying a pressure on the aligner. Therefore, we lose a part of that force and we do not achieve or express all the force that was prescribed or planned. This is also true for braces. It is a normal phenomenon, but can we play with these parameters? Oh, you sure can. It is possible to change the velocity of Invisalign clear aligners just by writing it in this special instruction in your prescription. You can make it general for the whole arch or you can target a particular tooth area where you want the velocity of movement to be different. How do you feel now? Now that you know the anatomy and the parameters of clear liners, now that you know the material they're made of, the different features and their use, you will never look at an aligner the same way. Having the knowledge makes all the difference. I'm Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute, where we entertain your clear aligner education. Have fun making the move. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up and click on the bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. These other videos might interest you as well. Now, Google thinks that this one here is right for you, but we think that you might like this one also.